Welcome to game. We are your home for exceptional adventures. I am the Game Master and in today's video we're going to look at the best action adventure games of all time. Feel free to check out some of our other top 10 videos on the main page and remember to click our notification bell to be reminded every single time we drop something new. If you're interested in taking a look at some of our other media-based projects, you can check us out over at AspireIntegratedMedia.com. First up, what is an action adventure game? Well, the action adventure genre is a game genre that combines core elements from both the action game and the adventure game genres. It's a hybrid genre and can include many games which might better be categorized under more narrow genres such as action or adventure. Today we're going to be talking about the best of these in our opinion and if you have suggestions of your favorites we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So here's our list of the top 10 best action adventure games starting from number 10 to 1 with 1 being the best on our list. At number 10, we have Uncharted 3. And Uncharted 3's Drake's Deception once again follows the adventures of Nathan Drake. This is the third in this series of games, and he hops around the world on a quest for magnificent treasure. This time, though, things feel a lot more personal, even somehow as you were fighting thousands of feet in the air on the back of a burning cargo plane. In the other Uncharted games, Nathan was driven by a clear and shallow focus to obtain mystical treasure. In Uncharted 3, however, the ultimate goal is less black and white. And for the first time in the series, Nathan and the people around him begin to question why is he doing what he is doing? Are all his risks and sacrifices actually worth it? In Uncharted 3, all of the characters, including most of your old favorites and some excellent new additions, feel so much more complex because of the way they are written. Not only is each character given real, sometimes tragic emotions to deal with, the relationships between these friends and enemies are portrayed with surprising depth. This is what makes this game a fantastic addition to the series and an overall fun game to play. At number 9 we have Ghost of Tsushima. The Ghost of Tsushima, no matter how you look at it, is beautiful. From the lush grass to the wind that just carries you to your next objective, every bit of the game is as gorgeous as a Kurosawa film. It's played from the third person perspective and features a large open world that's easily traversed on your horse. The game features numerous side quests which tie into the main story which increases your overall sense of immersion into the game. Players engage in direct confrontations with enemies called standoffs using their katana and can chain up a series of fatal strikes against a set number of enemies. Additionally, the player has access to many different weapons such as bows, kunai, stealth, which all allow the player to approach combat in different scenarios. Another standout feature to this game are the famed duels, where Jin faces off against many of the famed Ronin across the land. All in all, Ghost of Tsushima is a fantastic action-adventure game with hours of fun and challenging gameplay at your hands. At number 8 we have Arkham City. And Batman Arkham City is a action-adventure game released in 2011 based upon the DC Comics superhero Batman. It's a sequel to the 2009 game Arkham Asylum, and Arkham City was inspired by the overall long-running Batman mythology. In the game's main storyline, Batman is incarcerated in Arkham City, which is a super prison enclosing the urban slums of Gotham City. He then must uncover the secret behind a scheme orchestrated by the facility's warden, Dr. Hugo Strange. The game's leading characters are predominantly voiced by returning actors from the DC animated universe, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, reprising their roles as Batman and Joker, respectively. 
The game is presented from the third person perspective with a primary focus on Batman's combat and stealth abilities. His detective skills, his gadgets, can all be used in both combat and exploration. Batman can also freely move around Arkham City, interacting with characters and undertaking missions and unlocking new areas by progressing through the story or also obtaining new equipment. At number seven, we have Red Dead Redemption 2, and it is developed by the creators of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead 2 is an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. The game is presented through both the first and third person perspectives and the player may freely roam in its interactive open world gameplay. Elements of the gameplay include shootouts, heists, hunting, horseback riding, interacting with NPCs and maintaining your honor rating through moral choices and deeds. A bounty system governs the response of law enforcement and bounty hunters to crimes committed by the player. The game received critical acclaim with praise directed at its story, characters, its graphics, open world music, and level of detail. With the addition of its online mode and consistent updates, this game has proved to be a long-term hit. At number six, we have The Last of Us. and The Last of Us is one of those rare gems that only come along once in a while. Released during the very long PS3 generation, The Last of Us is an action-adventure game developed by Naughty Dog. Even knowing what this studio had done previously with its Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted franchises, this didn't prepare anyone for the intensity The Last of Us provided. The story starts off with a heart-wrenching tug, allowing you to truly grasp the struggle of the main character as you spend time traversing through the game's dark corridors and desolate cityscapes. The game is beautiful to look at in a haunting sort of way, and its gameplay is very similar to that of Uncharted, allowing for thrilling fist and firefights. Number five, we have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild is an action-adventure game created by Nintendo. It's a vast departure from the other Zelda games before it and truly reinvigorated the Zelda franchise after a small lull. By smartly mixing together the best parts of games such as Skyrim and Dark Souls, Zelda at times rises above its inspirations. The game is set in an open world where players are tasked with exploring the kingdom of Hyrule while controlling Link. Breath of the Wild encourages non-linear gameplay, which is illustrated by the game's lack of defined entrances or exits to areas, scant instruction given to the player, and an encouragement to explore freely. Breath of the Wild introduces a consistent physics engine to the Zelda series, letting players approach problems in different ways rather than trying to find a singular solution. The game also integrates a chemistry engine that defines the physical properties of most objects and governs how they interact with the player and one another. For example, during thunderstorms, metal objects will attract powerful lightning strikes during a storm. Therefore, a player must be careful not to wear metal, but may also throw metal objects at enemies to draw lightning to them. These design approaches result in a generally unstructured and interactive world that rewards experimentation and allows for non-linear completion of the story. Breath of the Wild is a must-play on the Nintendo Switch if you happen to have one. Number four, we have Spider-Man PS4. And Spider-Man PS4 is based on Marvel Spider-Man. Not the MCU version, but the overall long-running comic version. Spider-Man for PS4 tells an original narrative that is inspired by the long-running mythology while also drawing from various adaptations in other media. In the main story, the superhuman crime lord, Mr. Negative, orchestrates a plot to seize control of New York City's criminal underworld. When Mr. Negative threatens to release a deadly virus, Spider-Man has to confront him and protect the city while also dealing with the personal problems of his private life as Peter Parker. 
Gameplay is presented from the third person perspective with a primary focus on Spider-Man's traversal and combat abilities. Spider-Man can freely move around New York City, interacting with characters, undertaking missions, and unlocking new gadgets and suits by progressing through the main story or completing tasks. This game has birthed a side story of Miles Morales and a new sequel coming very soon. Number three, we have Shadow of the Colossus. And Shadow of the Colossus is a game that changed how we both see and play RPGs today. From its beautiful open world to the story intertwining all your progress over the course of the game, this game is a defining moment for many games. It serves as a journey through ancient lands to seek out gigantic beasts and destroy them in order to save the princess. Armed with only a sword and a bow, you explore the spacious lands and unearth each colossus, presenting a unique challenge to test your wits, determination, and skill. The modern remake by Blueprint Games is a visual masterpiece, enabling gamers who may have missed out on this wonderful game to get to experience it for the first time. Number two, we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a action adventure game developed and published by ubisoft and is the 11th major game in the long-running assassins series and the successor to 2017's origins like its predecessor the game features a larger open world and adopts many elements from the rpg genre putting more emphasis on combat and exploration than stealth Naval combat from previous titles in the series also play a prominent role in odyssey Assassin's Creed Odyssey is an amazing game, especially if you like Greek history. It's like living through a live rendition of Homer's Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey continues the story arc of Layla Hassan started in Origins. This is a major character who relives the mercenaries' memories through the Animus device as part of her efforts to locate a powerful artifact on behalf of the assassins. The game is magnificent to look at and the closest that we will get, as I said earlier, to a live action recreation of Homer's Odyssey. And number one, we have Tales of Arise, and Tales of Arise is hands down the best action adventure RPG ever. It's literally a blast to play from start to finish. Featuring a diverse cast of characters, an intuitive and rewarding combat system, and a captivating story set in a lush world worth fighting for, Tales of Arise delivers a first class JRPG experience. The game is a return to form for the Tales series and JRPGs in general. From its beautiful open world locations you'll visit to the character interactions, every moment of this game is a blast to play. The storyline will have you on the edge of your seat while the gameplay will have you challenged right up to the very end. If you haven't yet, pick up this amazing game and fall in love with the cast of Tales. And that's it, y'all. These are our top 10 action adventure games of all time. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And as always, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time we release a new video here on game. Have an amazing day and remember to have an exceptional adventure today, whether it's in your game or more importantly, your life. Enjoy and have fun.